Oh, that's it, morning. Good Mo morning. Morning, Alex. Good morning, Matt. Hi, everybody. This is this is our uh, lockdown brass section snippet special. Uh, outside, as you'll see. Yeah, you free. Outside, and we've got a post bag of a number of questions we've received, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. From our fan base. So well, the first one is all four uh, of them. First one is from Mrs. Mrs. Roberts, and it's saying, it's specifically to Alex, but I'll join in. What is an embouchure, and what is your warm-up routine? Okay, would you like to explain the embouchure first? We're bloody freezing at the moment, isn't it? So now look, I'll explain. As I'm going to use Alex's face as an example. Stay still for a minute while it focuses. That's it. So the hairy area around Alex's lips is called <laughs> the embouchure. The embouchure. Do you want to say it in your lovely French accent? The embouchure. And this is the muscles, isn't it? It's the muscles around the face. The musculature. The musculature. But is it not also the lips and the, ch the lips as well? Does that count or is it not? I think the lips do count. Maybe separate. I think the, li I think the lips do count. And obviously everybody's, you can see Alex's lips and the muscles around his lips. Show, show me your lips, they're much better lips. They're very different to my lips. Yeah. And the muscles around my lips. <laughs> Alex seems to be able to play on his embouchure with hairy lips. I just, and I just sort of balance it. I'm, try, I'm working on trying to get as much of my bottom lip into the mouthpiece as possible. Because that's supposed to um, reduce the amount of pressure that you play with. Yeah, we've had this. We have this eternal conversation about pressure. Brass as, players. As brass yeah. players, my mouthpiece. This is my mouthpiece, and my. I'm. I'm like this. So I play a lot on my top lip, and as a result of that, I tend to get quite a lot of sores and welts. Sores and welts. Welts and lip, sores. Lip welts. <laughs> Which can be problematic. Happened in Croatia, didn't it, to you? Yeah, I was ter a terrible, Croatia. terrible uh, Croatian lip moment I had. Okay, so that's the embouchure. Let's move on to question two. No, 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 there's a warm up, warm up. Just do the warm up and then this is the end of the snippet. So this is how we warm up? Warm up. So how do you warm up, Alex, when you start of the day? How do you warm up? So I warm up, first of all, with some long notes. This should last for 20 minutes to 30 minutes, but... <laughs> we won't, make, we won't make you listen to I've 20 minutes patience. of him playing long notes. <laughs> A soft tongue. No tongue. Bit of attack. Then I go down the semitone. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? Then I go up the tone. Then I go down the tone and a half. Then I go up two tones. Then I go down a fourth. Then I go up a fourth and a half. An augmented fourth. Then down a fifth. Then up a mi minus six. Etc. Whoa! And that should take 30 minutes. Well, you do that every day? No, because <laughs> I get carried away and oh. I want to go. So, as we're going to leave Alex there, playing away, playing away to himself in the field, that's the end of the first snippet of the brass section. Experts in our field. Oh. Here we go. Question two. Question two. Am I not supposed to read it? Yeah. Yeah, you read it. I read it to you. So the, the second question. It's the third one down. Is from Mr. Ben, and he's asking. He notices that whenever we play a concert, we always seem to be breathing. How come we're so good at breathing? <laughs> Well, we, we again, this is another thing we talk about on brass snippets. I'm going to reveal belly breathing. You notice when he's breathing in, the belly goes out. Belly goes out, shoulders stay like this. Stay I relaxed. I mean, often 
people will think that brass players are just basically fat. No, not that's true. Not true. Not true. It's not true. It's not true. We've got soft bellies. Soft bellies. We work on our soft bellies. And the reason for that is to use your diaphragm. Yeah, it gives a bit of oomph behind the to diaphragm. Control, it controls the breath, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and so that you can get, like, if you give me your trumpet a minute, I'm not going to try and blow it because we, we'll have that COVID in that and we'll have the conversation about that later. But if you imagine, if I were to get a pair of pliers <laughs> and, like, rip this into one big straight line. Yeah. How long would it be? How long would it be? It'd probably be about from, from like, here to, I don't know. That that lamp post, that power line, mm -hmm. it's probably about that long. If I were to, you know, like get all this, all like, right. rip you, it you apart, it back. like that. Okay, next question. But you take the next no, the question. point being that you have to move that column of air. Yeah. That much air, you have to move it. So you have to have lots of. You, no yeah. point going. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. But, so it's all about, isn't it? but when you're blowing, you don't you don't put too much pressure uh, on on your blowing. I think you you control the shape of the inside of your mouth. Yes, that's right. You... And really, you sort of sigh through your instrument, don't you? Is that what you do? What? Sigh through it. <sighs> that's a bit bit further away than that, mate. Probably didn't focus. But, on yeah, it. you take that. I'll show you a note on the trumpet, and I'll look at the breathing. Ready? Yeah, so you're not exactly blasting it through, are you? But and even a loud note, look. There's a sort of... Is that again? So that's the thing, isn't it? When we're doing teaching, like if people have fucking bothered how to learn to do something, then we will tell them about breathing is very, very important, isn't it? Yeah. Breathing is the most important thing, isn't it? It's all, yeah, you stop breathing, that's the rest of your technique is completely gone because that, you're dead. That's it. You should see Dick breathing on stage. My God, it's like it's like a machine. Yeah. Isn't it? When he's singing. He's he's an absolute powerhouse, isn't he? He is. Whereas Jasper, I don't think Jasper breathes at all. No, I think he? he takes a deep breath at the beginning, I've noticed sometimes. Oh, and, and then at then the end of the gig he, <laughs> he like lets it all out. Takes a Silas, he's I can't remember the last time he breathed. No, he doesn't <laughs> breathe at all. Anyway. That's a snippet two. Right, okay. Number three. Number three, so this is from Arnold Chopping, this question, and it was... Yes, Arnold. Arnold Chopping was asking, which is best, trumpet or, or trombone, and why? Okay, so I think... Uh, Can I just stop you there, before you start going on about the bloody trumpet? I'll just say... I'm going to. No, but I'm just going to say that the, I always need to put a kind of rider into this and say, this is nothing to do with King Prawn calling the trombone the shit trumpet. Yeah, I'm not... Well, I'm not going to say that again. We've said that every episode. I know, but I'm just, you know, <laughs> it's, it's mentioning true. that again because it is true and that no, is what they true. say. But it's not true and that's not why we're doing this. I think the trombone is the best instrument. Yeah, I'll well, tell you why, because so it has the frequencies of love in it. Well, People, when they hear your trombone, they fall in love. Hold on a minute. There's not much point in having <laughs> an episode which is which is best trumpet and trombone if you think the trombone we is the best. The trombone's the best. Well, no, I think the trumpet's the best in some ways, but the trombone's the best in other. The trombone and the cello, they have a frequency in them which it which mimics the feeling of passionate love. And right. that's why I'm when sure it's people thing. see you in the audience, they fall in love with you even though you're such an ugly cunt. Uh, <laughs> you don't, yeah. And what I hope is that... You have to swear every time so that moment, my mother complains about it. The moment they... Or my you, children The moment he plays his first note, what I try and do is catch people's eyes. Because if they catch my eye after you've played the note, they fall in love with me. It, well, it's like a love potion. Yes, so like what we're saying potion, is, the reason nine. why the trombone's better than the trumpet is because the trombone's like a love potion. Yeah. Instrument. Well, that's why you started playing it. And any, in any, in any way, he's it's not like in practicing. He's just interested in people falling in, in love with it. And anyway, it's also it is about that the harmonics. Yeah. Because the harmonic range of a trombone mimic, apparently mimics the human voice. Oh. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Not my human voice, no. but a decent human voice, isn't it? But then if we think about famous trumpeters, famous trombonists, who the, I mean, there's so many good trumpet players. There's Miles Davis. Yeah, well, there's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of good trumpet there's players. There's Freddie Hubbard, there's Don yeah. Cherry, 
There's I know, some I can other hear, ones. I, yeah, I can feel the next question. Who's because the famous drummer? There's Rico. There's Rico, yeah, obviously. There's JJ Johnson. JJ Johnson, who you've done a thing on, wasn't it? No. Did, no Ro Roswell Rudd, I Roswell did a thing Rudd on. Did a thing so on. there's Roswell Rudd. And then yeah. there's but you, they're uh, not exactly household names, you know what I mean? Well, no. The trumpet's a very honourable instrument. Gary, v there's, um, very honourable. Gary Valenti. Yeah, right. He's very good. Okay. You, you, uh, you stop saying people who no one's ever heard of. It's not. Do you think this? Help. I think this is this is sort of getting focused. Come on, focus now. Not you, the camera. That's it. That's it. Oh my God, it's frightening. So yeah. So I think the conclusion to that, you could put it in the chat, in the comments box underneath. Which is better, uh, trumpet or trombone? We both think trombone. But look at that. But look at that. That's. Uh... Okay. That's the end. That's the end.